Well, hey team, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to some more Terraformers. We're gonna pick up, well, not exactly where we left off. I actually <laughs> played a bunch of this in the middle of the night the other night and was quite hooked. And I also streamed a little bit earlier today on Twitch. But we'll be doing more streaming on, on YouTube, generally speaking. Um, interestingly, that we, we don't have, there's a huge, like, weekly challenge interface sort of thing that you can unlock, but I don't have access to it. Um, until I complete her first mission and we did a reset when I started up the stream. So long and short of it I'll just we'll just start a new save from fresh um, But we went over the the overview we did the lessons learned and 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 the and the bits and pieces um, I've beaten this a couple of times a run can take a couple of hours uh, The way that you build really depends on the individual and also this red planet awaits sort of standard tutorial mission is a bit strange um, and different from some of the other versions. So for this, I believe it's just a points play. At least we're not tutorialized right now, but we need to play for 300 points. And you unlock all these different difficulties, 300 being the easiest, but all the way up. And then there's a bunch of scenarios unlocked. There's some that I haven't even unlocked yet, but ones where you're going for like Red Planet, which is just industry. You've got Expansionist. You've got Green Planet, Blue Planet, so terraforming um, to various degrees. You've got like an Ad Astra component where you're turning it into a launch platform for further deep space um, exploration. So it's more about doing space missions. It's a whole bunch of really interesting stuff. And, um, and we've barely scratched the surface. So I thought I'd jump in with that and say, you know, I have actually put a fair few hours into it, but we will we'll jump on from here. And going forward, probably stream a bit of it on, on uh, YouTube as well. All right. So who are we going to pick on out of the bank? Um, he's tempting. Silicates. Mm -hmm. Crazy science production for every robot. Innovate. What's your special? Supply station. That's not bad. It really depends on what you've got there, but we don't really know. Um, you shouldn't get too bogged down in these dudes. Like, if you can get one little bonus out of out of something, then then that's enough. You're gonna go through so many leaders, it's crazy. Okay, cool. So, very much bouncing ball at the beginning. Place headquarters. Place greenhouse farm. You can get different starts. This is the generic sort of start, but usually you get three to choose from. Um, but we'll just go with this. We could build a supply station. Um, if we had a spot for it, all that does is it gives you, see how when we go to explore, it costs one energy because of our adjacency. Um, what you can do, here's a great example. If you mouse over it, you can see that this will cost us two energy next turn. But if I were to build that supply station, it would only cost one energy in future turns. It's a staging point for exploration. It's pretty handy, especially if you're going a more expansionist route. Let's go. Hmm. Um, food production, probably not bad. However, we don't have any water production anyway. Uh, power. So a, lo a lot of this is much of a muchness. I'll just grab this for the moment. Doesn't really matter. Um, population. I'm going to sort of go at a little bit of a pace. I'm aware that we, we kind of just started again again. Um, so we might move at pace. We can expand because we've got that population. We don't care to expand there yet because we can't really do anything with it. Um, let's just keep sniffing around for something, anything. Collect resources. Looks like we can tap that as a titanium mine. We need to control it. We will do exactly that and tap it. So now at least we have titanium income. That's good. That's really good. Um, I've had such different experiences. The one I was streaming, you might be able to catch the archive on Twitch. Um, again, future streams will be here on YouTube, likely. I just enjoy the YouTube interface. It's a pain on Twitch. Learning it all over again. Um, but I was really titanium starved. But I've had playthroughs where that's not even a remote issue. It just depends how you build. Hmm. 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 Let me see. We might actually grab that habitation module. At the moment, we're sort of marking time, exploring a bit more. Let's get these adjacency ones done. Oh, okay, a nitrates deposit. Oh, that's a big play. However, we don't have the expansion for it, so we need more population. 
Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Trade routes handy. Um, power will come in handy. Silicates for science. We'll grab that. At the moment, it's it's a little bit like it is a bit struggly in the beginning, which I kind of appreciate because you do get quite flush with abilities and, and skills and income and all that later on. A lot of empty tiles around us. That's a bit poo. Um, again, we need to expand there to tap that. Oh, we've got the trade route. So there's that. Oh, here we go. That's exactly what we need. Robotics hub. So we're going to build some robots. Again, robots have their uses. They don't give you support. But having this is handy. Um, so we're actually, we're going to claim this and we're going to tap the, uh, what is it? Nitrates mine. So now we've got nitrates as an income. Um, we will probably actually trade that. We'll export it straight out for... I mean, water, 10 turns to get more food. That might be the move. That might be the move. Um, right. Explore. What are we doing? We're doing two power at the moment. I mean, I could, I could build one of these supply stations, but there's only very limited adjacency out there. Um... Let's try this. Again, another empty spot. Putting a supply station there is probably not a bad idea, actually. Um. Alright, exploration satellite's going to come in handy. This is interesting, with the soil factory and we have nitrates coming in. Food adjacency, though, it might be a little early for something like that. Again, we've already got a tritium thermogenerator. Hospital, I mean, kind of... Lavish. We'll, we will grab the soil factory, but we might not use it just yet. Um. Honestly, I'm going to tap the supply station there. Kind of mad not to. This guy's going to get retired and deleted forever. So this is the only time you're going to get supply stations. You can see there, that's one one power for these adjacent ones. And then the next ones will be two or whatever. Um, maybe we tap this one. All right, well, we could build a city there. Yeah. All right, well, we can keep converting for water. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Mm. I really like this game. Alright, rising expectations already. Something I figured out when I was streaming. Ooh, another robot hub. It might be worth it. Um, is, you can see there's a bar here that's reset because we went up by those expectations. But essentially the game's rolling a dice in the background of whether you're going to trip the next tier of rising expectation. You can see there, because we've got number one, it's a minus 15. And the year seven's a plus two percent. So at the moment, there's no chance. But as each year goes by, there will be a compounding percentage, and that will outweigh the offset of rising expectations one. Long and short of it is, you could have a lucky run where your rising expectations don't go up, and it will average out in a way. There is a chance that you'll get chipped with it pretty early, which I feel like we actually kind of did get hit with it early. Maybe we'll keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Yeah. Anyway, um, I could drop robots there. Why, now, why would I drop robots? I would want that to expand my range, which I don't necessarily care for right now. Sandstones. However, oh, that's interesting. The supply station doesn't require territory. So you could put it beyond your territory. Interesting. I might grab that. Guided tours. We'll take the little negative 
bonus. Well, it's not really a bonus, is it? Yeah, we might hold off on the robots just for now. Here we go. This is, we really want something like this, like on one of these blank tiles. So that timing's worked out well. We will place the robots now. Now we will expand to say here. I don't have the titanium. But that's okay. We'll save up for that. Probably should have paid more attention to that. Um, I might dip the supply station up here. Just because, because I can't remember how long they're... Oh, look, there you go. That must be his turn. Three more turns. Um, okay. All technologies cost less science. That's pretty good. Um, gain one water per ocean level you increase. Yeah. Destroying a rock costs two power less. That's actually pretty awesome. Let's put that in as our tech. Robots. Increase tech. Hmm. Well, we don't have any tech income to speak of. Let's do that. Laboratory. Even though we don't have silicates, let's solve one problem at a time, yeah? Bugger it, I'm gonna drop another supply station there. God, that'd be a delicious place for one as well. Just really leverage that. Okay. Now, I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but that's this is how I am doing it. I'm trying to save this water up. But anyway. We could do that more support. Oh, here we go. Nitrates for food. Oh, yes, please. God, that's a blessing, isn't it? All right, drop that there. Get some more food production. Still converting for water. Uh, one more turn with this bloke, bugger it. Let's plonk that down there. Oof, that's big. That's very big. So we haven't been exploring with him so much, but we've been setting up future exploration. So who can we take? We can take old George. The other thing that you'll notice, I did obviously reset my profile, is these characters that are familiar are just the base characters. It's almost like a collectible card game that when you do complete a scenario, you get a bunch of new buildings that you can draw from, which is really cool, and a bunch of new uh, leaders, like a lot. So there's a lot hidden behind that meta progression, but it doesn't really affect the loop. I, I find the way that the meta progression is implemented in this game to be better over some not to bash on the last spell, but I've I've raised my issues with that if you've been following it on the channel. Um, though I'm still in love with that game. Uh, I feel like this game... This game is very much a roguelike that happens to have some meta progression. As opposed to a roguelite from its fundamental construction. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that makes sense. Maybe not. Um, anyway. So this dude's good at constructing regional buildings, which we don't really have... A lot of we got scope for them. Receive two modular apartments. That's so cool, isn't it? Now what can you do? When you found a new city, gain two support income. Yeah, but are we really in the city business? Interclass dialogue center. <laughs> yeah, right, oh mate. Um, you know what? We might actually get George because his modular apartments, just to have them in hand, will be handy. Robots for expansion. Laboratory. We've already got a laboratory. Eco homes. Cheaper on the food, but needs science. Science that we don't have a lot of. Honestly, let's just grab another lab. Let's grab another lab. All right, so what can he do? He can destroy rocks for free, and he can spawn modular apartments. Uh, we're converting nitrates for water. Yeah, I think we're good for the moment. Let's explore. Oh, God, how cheap is that? 
So cheap. Right, okay, we can put a city up here. Now, you can actually just expand onto a tile like that, and it deletes the city possibility. Full stop, which is interesting. You've got to think really hard about if you want to do that or not. In the beginning, I was just plonking cities down on every single one of these, which I think is viable, but also hyper expansionist tall cities, not necessarily a bad thing either. You just got to own it, whichever one you lean into. Um, yeah, I think we go. We really need to start generating tech. This is not good enough. Nitrates. Silicates is something we've been dancing around. That'll help. That'll open some doors. Tuba farm for nitrates is really tempting because we've got that nitrate income. And what is this? A load balancing station. Every three mines owned by the city gets plus one power. I mean... We are kind of going tall with this city. What we're going to use... Well, we're going to use the nitrates for, for research. Honestly, I think we get the tube farm. Tuba farm. Um, there's a lot to think about. Well, we've saved the water, which was always the plan. Um, so let's do that there. Back to zero. I'm happy to go tall on this one. That food is going to tick over. I know the modular apartments cost titanium, but they get a bonus if they're adjacent to other modular apartments. It's kind of cool. This gets no bonuses. It's just boring. Nothing wrong with that, but having a spare one in hand is probably handy. Yeah, let's do it. And you also get two modulars when you buy that, so let's make the most of it. Um, let's get some tech going. Still sort short the nitrates. Trading. Let's reset the trade. I don't really want to... I guess I could trade a food for something. Trade a food for water. Try and just sort of load balance it a bit. Ah, oh, fuck. I shouldn't have researched that one. Oh. Alright. You can only hold eight projects. God, they're all pretty good. Honestly, we'll ditch one of the modulars because we can all we can always get more. We've still got him for ten turns. Um, Android Hub. Mm, yeah, but no. New technologies are suggested faster. I mean, we're not even researching this technology yet. Landing pad. I think the landing pad's the play. Now, as much as I want to build the modular apartment, building these would be really helpful. Supply station's already claimed there. Bugger it. We're going to build there. Get some more power going. That's right. We were always going to overwrite that supply station anyway. Um, we will build population with this. Alright. That gives us a bit more of an expansion thing. Tech. Seems we're building kind of tall at the moment. I'm not against it. I'm not against it. Um, do we have any... No, all the tiles are good there. We're doing okay. I can't believe how many blank tiles it's giving us. There's no, not a lot of mines or anything like that to tap. Um, that's cool, that turned up some titanium. We could probably expand here and tap that with a launch pad. Nitrates. 
let's reset out. We've got two trades now. I could I could use more nitrates. I could absolutely use two there. I want the science. I mean, it's a it's a tough one. I might just trade two food for the moment. And off we go. Cool. So bioengineering. engineering. Um, let's have a think about this. This requires zero temperature, and that requires negative two temperature. Never mind what it provides. The, just the viability. We might actually be start be able to start germinating with that like now. So that's handy. Um, Composting facility plus nitrates per three population. That's a that's a hard thing to pass up on. Let's grab that. Um, do we have three population? We do. Oh, it's counting two habitation modules. Okay, cool. So that's going to generate us more nitrates. That's actually unreal. So we're generating two now this early. We're also going to chuck a generator in here too. So now we're generating power. This is not the worst start. Got this. I really want to save science for that. Food, titanium just reset it. I know I'm not using any of my trade routes here, but I kind of want everything that I'm generating right now, which is a little wild. Um, let's see if we've got any ones. Here you go. Nice. And that's still on a cooldown. So many trade routes aren't assigned. That's fine. Terraforming initiation, so we've got a CO2 factory in hand. That's very helpful. Robots, not so much. Laboratory, yeah, I guess, but we're running out of space. We're thinking about building a new city. Support from a public baths is not that big a deal. Our support's doing okay for the moment. Missing silicates is a problem. Let's take that. Let me think. Kind of just got to keep on keeping on. What's close? What's one? One. Yeah, that's a little bit beyond the range of tapping. I'm not generating any water. I mean, that was good that we got more lab stuff. We've got nitrates for food. We are running out of space down here. Uh, I honestly would rather have the research right now. So I want I want to plug this in for research. Another trade route. See. We're not really using them at the moment. CO2 factory. I guess we've got titanium income. Habitation module for more population. How long has he got? Five left. Let's take the CO2 factory, but there's sort of... I might have even been able to just trade them in for science, to be honest. Not to look a gift horse. In the proverbial... We're generating food, that's for sure. Hmm. Two. Yeah, we're gonna have to start deciding whether we're gonna keep expanding this one city or are we gonna make another city? This city's very full. Seven population, so like, there's room to delete some population, especially like droids that we're not using. But I don't think it'll let me delete them just yet because I've expanded. See, I've only got one spear expansion, so I can't delete the two droids. 
In order to do that, I have to replace it with population. Hmm. Or forfeit some of my claims, but I'd have to do that with another city. Science. Keep generating science. Yeah, we're doing okay. Water. Power or titanium? It's got to be water. Now, what have we got here? Solar panel. Food factory. I mean, can't really go wrong with more food. But we're not struggling. What we want science. Maybe I just go, don't receive that and gain a science. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Two. What's going on there? Black sand dunes. Hmm. short on titanium food yeah we need to think about getting a new city that one's not really ready oh that one is yeah we could settle this one and then we could probably claim that yeah got the water now cool uh, robots that might come in handy at the new city, to be honest. I'm going to grab that. That's still two turns away. Here, though, bacteria spreader for science. I really... How far off are we? As much as I want to buy that, I want to just get this technology out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want one more food. Hang on. What will I trade? Let's do that. Explore. Oh, we've got another explore. Very good. There's water mine down there. That's nice. A Mars quake. No good. Food factory. People don't like that, but bad luck. It makes food. Oxygen factory. I might actually grab the oxygen factory, to be honest. God, I need to repair all this crap. This is going to set me back somewhat. Two nitrates, two silicates. I don't have silicates, so we'll have to set a trade route for that. Um, I was saving for a city, right? So let's found this city here. Cassi Colony, that sounds good to me. All right. Immediately, let's put some robots there. And I think we'll claim that. Now, I wonder if... Am I... Oh, now I can. I can, in fact, delete a robot facility. Back down to five population. I might, I might do that now before I forget. Um... Large tritium deposit. That would be worth tapping. <laughs> However, I really want to... I really want to buy up this... This, the bacteria spreader. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Bacteria spreader. Let's see if there's anything... Oh, it looks promising. So this should, what's this going to give me? Plus one atmosphere and one oxygen per turn. It doesn't really matter where you put it. 
It's more a case of if if that bacteria can live in that sector. And if we pull up here, I think we can see all the climate zones. So minus one temperature, minus one, minus one. So it would be able to survive anywhere, pretty much. It's a good thing we picked that bacteria. Though the spreader is on a 13 turn cooldown. And the good thing is that now that's generating some atmosphere and some oxygen. So we're, we're actually on our way to having ticking towards, you know, some actual terraforming. Right. Now, before I forget, I need silicates. And I'll probably trade like that. Yeah. I should explore. Not into there. Might just leave that minimized. And I think... I'm still short silicates. God. Everything needs that to repair. So that's... There's a hole in my economy that we might have to just keep filled with trade routes. But um, as far as starts go, this is actually pretty solid. Um, oh yeah, look, and here we go. Past bad luck. Oh right, okay. Maybe we did actually get the in the requirement go up early, so it's considered that a bad luck. Oh, okay, cool. Anyway, there you go, some more terraformers. Let me know if you want to see some more. We will stick with this save for the time being, I think. Um, and there's potential for more little episodes, um, but also doing streams as well if people are interested. I really like this game a lot. Uh, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.